This part shook pretty bad. The force of the blast shattered windows in some of the nearby houses in this Crescent Hill neighborhood. The blast hurling strips of metal hundreds of yards inside the warehouse plant that has several storage tanks filled with ammonia. Late today, firefighters found the body of 44-year-old Lewis Perry, who was working with four others about 2 a.m. when the blasts occurred. While we don't exactly know uh, what happened, we understand that uh, uh, he was doing the normal good job that he always does. Lewis had been here for, for, for quite a while. Um, uh, he was, uh, um, uh, as I said, a very uh, uh, well-regarded, uh, well-respected uh, associate um, uh, by his team. Uh, and uh, um, uh, one, of the, one of the stars of our, of our production area. The company, D.D. Williamson, has been in this neighborhood for some 55 years. Despite its modest surroundings, it's now the world's largest supplier of caramel coloring in the sodas we drink, the candy we eat, and the soy sauce we cook with. A spokesperson for Kentucky's OSHA says the plant has been cited on two previous occasions back in 1994, but failing to have an adequate facility for eye washing in case of an emergency, and in November of 1999, for some electrical and fall protection deficiencies. Neither of those violations, however, warranted closing down the plant. The last time it was inspected was in 2001. Chuck Olmstead, WHAS 11 News.